Hey everybody, this is Arathus, and welcome to Eden Rising, a game that as far as I can tell is some weird hybrid between an action game and a tower defense game in an open world, so it's a bit intriguing, so let's dive in and figure out how it actually works. Alright, never played it before, so yeah, this is definitely going to be a pretty blind <laughs> let's play, or at least a uh, preview if nothing else. First look, I guess. Yeah, one of those. <laughs> so, as far as I can tell, you have to run around and gather resources. And then you can use them to build defenses to fight off the hordes of alien creatures. At which point, I think you can join in. Like, while your towers and stuff are doing their job, you can jump in and fight as well. Not positive. Uh, nothing's happening, game. <laughs> Anything at all, game. There we go. Uh, no, I'm not skipping the tutorial. I don't know what I'm doing. Randomize. Sure, I guess. <laughs> Let's do it. We followed the signal to its destination and uncovered an alien schematic. Probably just leave that alone. Just saying. It took us months to decrypt the language and years to assemble the device it described. Yeah, let's open up a weird alien portal. This was the opportunity we've been seeking our whole lives. We jumped at the chance to leave our world behind. Hope you did some testing to make sure you didn't just straight up die and that you could at least breathe the air. You must have found my diagrams. Welcome to Eden. Oh. My apologies. Your biological form seems incompatible with this environment. Let me fix that. As steward of this realm, I can help you if you're willing to strike a bargain. What are you, Satan? I speak for the Crucibles, vast machines of the Ascendants that have lain dormant for millennia. <coughs> These devices contain great technological archives. The native creatures of Eden oppose their restoration, and thus we require a tribe to act as their wardens. Reboot the Crucibles. Restore all of them. Oh, okay. Is there an actual campaign in this? And gain access to the final archive, the God Equation. With its power, one could easily master this domain. Will your people take on this task? I mean, unless I want to die, I have no choice. You didn't leave me a lot of options. Excellent. Beginning compatibility procedure turn the audio up a little bit here. There we go. Uh, procedure complete. Time to fulfill your half of the bargain. Yeah, no, I don't like this at all. Forge tree unlocked. Tap space to jump. <coughs> Alkali Crustacean. No, Sprint. Simulated creature. Uh, middle mouse button to lock. Calm. Yep. Pretty straightforward. Oh, wow. I can teleport, it felt like. Special attack to build power, then press Q. Interesting. Do I get other... Do I get other combos or other specials, or is that it? Tougher foes. Defeat the shielded creature. Ow. I tried to dodge. Eh. 
And a special. Death to you. Pass through the tunnel. Alright. Interesting looking. Wow, that's cool. So is that. This world, this uh, solar system seems all kinds of messed up, though. Warden Rock Crucible. Well, that happened earlier than I was expecting. Tech station. Uh, activate the Crucible first, it looks like. Activate to trigger the Crucible's protective dome and establish a respawn point. Oh, and this is what I have to defend, right? Oh yeah, he's not happy. I, mean, I wouldn't be either. I'm, seems like we're terraforming this place. And they kind of live here. New tech tree. Warden, you have unlocked new tech. Ascendant compatibility. Turret crafting. Ascendant core has been added to your personal inventory. If you need more, they can be found around the island. Open the crafting interface and select the auto turret. Press the craft button when you have the required materials. Uh, auto turret, then. Uh, just one for now? Equip. You must build defenses to survive. The pink holograms represent placement suggestions. Switch to build two to ready the auto turret. Uh, swap turret types by tapping or holding two. Okay. Oh, I probably want more of these. So I can place them anywhere, but you just have recommended spots. Okay. You know, I'll build three more. Doesn't seem like a bad idea. Okay. Crucible Sieges. In order <coughs> excuse me, to restore Crucible's link to the network, it must be rebooted. During the restoration sequence, creatures will lay siege. While within an active Crucible dome, press hold X to trigger the next active siege. If your tribe has more than one member present, they will have to confirm that they're ready. Okay, so it's multiplayer as well. Okay, so we have two turrets on that side. Might as well... Do two turrets on this side. That doesn't look like an auto cannon. Oh, I can pick him back up. Cool. No, I don't want to destroy it. All right, let's start the siege. Yeah, I like tower defense games. I like ones that apparently I get to join in as well, though, apparently. Allow me to participate. Okay, yeah, this would definitely be better multiplayer. <laughs> the help would be nice. Hey. Oh, we might lose a turret. Priority, get a new turret. Good lord, this thing does not want to go down. Oh, there he goes. Get behind him. Get behind him. There we go. You've been granted nanochips. Damage done. Seven kills. Trophies. The resources you need to build defenses and equipment are found outside in the world. The world map can help you in your search. Use a forge interface to view available equipment patterns and discover the materials you need. 
Hard fungus and sticky resin grow natively on Eden and are useful in armor and weapon forging, so I can improve myself and the sieges. Armor. What's the extraction glove do? Glove mod that projects a magnetic stream for extracting resources. Oh, okay, I want that. But, like, turrets. Like, how do I learn new turrets? No? Not today? All right. Oh, God. Just about got myself killed there. Oh, it wants me to go that way. Let's go that way, then. Gather materials and forge armor and forge a weapon. Oh, right here. Hope I don't have a limited inventory size, because this could be bad. Forge the fungal armor. I don't know that I want the fungal armor. Oh. Okay, that actually looks pretty cool. Do I want the fungal bident? Attack goes up by 182. The crystal trident. Fungal glaive. I think I want the fungal bident if I can. Sticky resin. to you landing site in 3097 au the first colony vessel materialized on this site this memorial device stands in honor of the brave pioneers that tamed eden in the name of the ascendant empire long may it reign across the multiverse attention wardens all text in eden's colonial zone has been translated from imperial runic and localized to fit your species cultural paradigm all right nice I'm actually going to just steal all these cores, okay? I know this is kind of a holy site for you, but I'm still going to rob it. Ooh. Ah! Mm -mm. And I'm getting poisoned. Okay. Medusa <coughs> Medusoid Claw. Healing Bulb. Oh, consumable. Okay. Telecytes? What is a telecyte? Well, I had a quick travel, basically. Teleport to the top. Oh, nice. Not really concerned. I'm looking for very specific stuff. That. Give me. Ooh. This is a finicky weapon. It's much stronger than what I had, but it's finicky. What's your guys' problem? Ah! <laughs> I like that the special is just, I'm gonna get more stabby. I think this is much more harvesting than they expected me to do. But what can I say? I like loot.
Oh, I need an extraction glove. I think I can make an extraction glove. Equip that thing too. Oh, that's cool. Dodge. Target. There we go. Doesn't work on everything. Okay. That's what I was checking. I'm sure I'm going to need these ores for something. Teleport between two telesites. I don't have a second telesite. We have to work within my limitations, game. No. Okay. We don't actually have to work through my limitations, game. Completing sieges grants nano chips, which can be used to unlock technology. Technology grants crafting blueprints and more. I can find a tech station in every crucible. Find nodes with the, the ballistics text, tech, and spend nano chips to unlock it. Note that some tech will be locked until the crucible advances. Oh, okay. It's right here. Oh, good lord. I just want the ascendant cores. All right, let's see what else we can get, shall we? Warden. Okay, so we have ballistics now. Okay. Knowledge of the mechanics of projectile flight behavior for the purpose of offensive weaponry. Cool, what does that do? In the final siege of Warden Rock, a dangerous Gorgon will attack from Lane C. The ballista is a single target turret designed to assist against large beasts. Analyze the lanes, place as many turrets as you can, and defeat all all incoming threats. So I need something to deal with C. Aha. Uh -huh. Power. Uh oh. Defenses consume power while active. In the wild, your defenses use your very limited personal power. In the Crucible, they use camp power, which is shared among the tribe at that location. Camp power can be increased through Crucible improvements once available. If you are low on power, you can interact uh, with your place defenses to either pick up or deactivate them. What? Okay. You know what? Fine then. I get it. Stop. Let me. Hmm. There a way you can stop this nonsense? There we go. So I'm going to interact with this, and I'm going to deactivate you. Not enough power. Okay. Well, let me go help this. Oh, I have a rushing attack. So this lane is fine, it looks like. Deactivate. Oh. 
Start shooting him. I would appreciate help, turrets. Oh, hey. He just straight up knocked him off his feet for me. The turrets helped. <laughs> nice. Yeah, I was going to say, if the game didn't have a limit to how many turrets, like a power limit or something, you would just be able to, like, cram a ton of turrets and never lose those. But yeah, I like the limitations. Warden's Rock, Warden Rock's Crucible is restored. Although this was effectively a training exercise, you were fulfilling your duty to the Ascendants. I don't serve the Ascendants, but I get your point. Restoring the Crucible gives you access to its master node technology. You can now craft colony seeds, which activate Ascendant devices. Cool. To reach the other Crucibles, you must leave this island, activate the bridge generator, and navigate the caves to find Eden's mainland. Oh, okay. You have unlocked new tech, habitat cultivation. Let's go take a look at that. Why are you still showing me like stuff's going to come at me, huh? Because it looks like I can start the siege again. Hmm. All right. All right, so with this, I am all out of time for today. But I do have to say, the game ha is an interesting premise. I think it would be more... Uh, fun all the way around as a multiplayer game, which thankfully does have multiplayer. And yeah, if you guys want to see me play more, feel free to let me know in the comments below. And if you guys want to check it out for yourself, I'll put a link in the comment uh, in the description below. And from what I understand, this game does have like a free version and all that that you can try out. Uh, it's a free version without microtransactions. So yeah, uh, I think there's like three different versions of the game. But either way, if you want to check it out, the link will be in the description below. Thanks again for watching, guys.